Every fall in Murfreesboro, Illinois, people gather from all across the continent to witness and compete in the Praise the Lard Murfreesboro Barbecue Cook-Off, a barbecue competition that spans from September 22nd to September 23rd. The competition is held within the Kansas City Barbecue Society, and this year, 2017, 55 barbecue teams entered the competition. The competition was founded by pitmaster Mike Mills in 1978. Well, the competition was originally brought to, to uh, as an idea by a friend of mine, uh, Rob Williams, who uh, had ran it up in St. Louis, had ran across a uh, contest that uh, that was going on at that time up there, and he came back and thought, wow, this was right up my alley because I all the time barbecued and cooked. Uh, it was something that my dad, I had learned from my dad. My dad had uh, passed away whenever I was nine years old. And uh, I always, you know, always told my mom, don't worry, I'll be, I'll take care of the barbecue, you just make the sauce. The teams come from a wide range of backgrounds. Most of them hail from Kansas City and St. Louis, Missouri, but others come from the West Coast, New York, and even Canada. Coming from St. Louis, Missouri is a small team comprised of two brothers, Smoky Bros Barbecue. This underdog team started competing across Missouri and Illinois about 10 years ago in hope that their Weber Grill-based barbecue will earn them recognition at the award ceremony. As nighttime approaches, the competitors begin to prepare their food, as well-prepared food takes ample amount of time to cook. Chicken skin is trimmed, meat is seasoned, and grills are being fired up as tensions begin to rise. The amount of preparation done the night before varies based on the equipment a team uses. Some teams use expensive methods of cooking, with large flame pits being common and huge, multi shelled grills almost necessary for multiple trials. Our heroes at Smoky Bros Barbecue humbly start preparing their meat at around 7 o'clock. Preparation is precise and deliberate and an abundant amount is prepped so they can pick out the best meat out of multiple trials. Chicken preparation is saved for the next day because pork takes longer to cook than chicken. While the competitors prepare their meat, people attending the competition, usually family and friends, set up for a night of partying. The 17th Street Bar and Grill is open for all, and live performances are held. So I gotta ask my when the festivities are over, the area goes into an eye of the storm period in the middle of the night. The performance area becomes desolate, as attendees and competitors sleep little in preparation for the stresses of the next day. The Smoky Bros wake up at 2 o'clock sharp and continue the cooking process. At this time, pork is usually taken off the heat, reseasoned, and put back in so it can be finished cooking by the time morning begins. The majority of their competition wakes up at around 4 o'clock and begin their cooking at around then. After their meat is put back on the grill, timers are set and all there is to do is wait until morning comes and the sauce can be prepared. The sun rises along with the rest of the competition. The attendees also begin to wake up and the streets are cleansed of the beer cans and styrofoam containers from the previous night. Tension is in the air as the teams begin the final parts of the cooking process. Barbecue sauce is usually experimented with and made at around this time and put on the different meats before they are turned in. The Smoky Bros use this time to finish their pork and cook the chicken to be turned in from 10.30 to 10.40. The rest of the meats are turned in hourly afterwards. There's four categories that we turn in. The first is chicken. Okay, our second turn in category is pork. So this is our third turn in. Ribs, so brisket, pork, final um, turn in.
After the meat is turned in, it is taken to the judging hall to be judged by six judges, each giving an individual score for the meat to be averaged. The barbecue itself um, is rewarding. I mean, it's it's usually pretty good. These teams have been cooking, most of them, for uh, quite some time. It's the, the barbecue that you will taste at these events is uh, usually a better quality than you'll find in, in almost any store. These, these teams go to just a, a huge extent to try to uh, cook the best food that they can. After the meet is judged, the awards take place at around 6 p.m. Teams winning are given Apple Awards, and top performing teams qualify to compete in the World Food Championship. Do you have anything you'd like to share with the people watching this documentary? Uh, anything like that? Well, I think that, if it, that it's really awesome that you all are putting this documentary together, and that you know, you're wanting to learn about it and pass it on because that's what the whole world is about is passing it on.